I think, yeah, it's been a big move percentage wise. I do think um, silver and gold, they've all put in, I think they're major bottoms. And I, I mean, I think long-term from here, they're all going much higher. Um, I think they're gonna probably do something very similar. Like silver had this first big breakout and then it consolidated for a long time. And now it's got a new breakout and however high it goes, uh, then I, th I think it'll, it'll consolidate and build one of these bases and try and shake people out a little bit. And then eventually I think when we have a financial reset and, and things reset, that's when I think we'll see, you know, silver and gold really start that next rocket ship, major, major move up. Chris Vermeulen, founder of Technical Traders Limited, anticipates that a financial reset will trigger a major upward surge for silver and gold. Examining the monthly chart for a long-term perspective, he notes that silver is approaching the highs seen in 2011 and 2012, indicating significant resistance. He suggests that after the current pause, the next target for silver will likely be around $35. Over the past few decades, gold has generally outperformed silver in terms of returns. For example, from 2000 to 2020, gold had an average annual return of 9.6%, while silver had an average annual return of 5.1%. However, silver has had periods of outperformance, particularly during times of high inflation or economic growth. Looking at the broader market context, Vermeulen predicts that gold, silver, miners, and other commodities will perform well in the coming months. He believes these assets will be seen as defensive plays, potentially outperforming even if the stock market declines. He observes a similar pattern with silver miners, particularly the juniors, indicating potential for future gains. Vermeulen is optimistic about silver's prospects. Despite current resistance levels, there is room for another upward push. An index tracking metals mining shares has reached its highest point in almost two years, with potential to climb even higher as precious metal mining companies continue to catch up to gold's record high prices and silver's climb to 11-year highs. Over the past 12 months, the NYSE ARCA Gold Miners Index has risen by 12.1%, compared to a 30.8% rise in silver futures and a 21.8% gain in gold futures. Now, we present clips of Chris Vermeulen's insights from his recent interview with Natural Resource Stocks. Before we delve into the discussion, please subscribe to our channel and activate the bell icon for timely updates. Thank you for watching and enjoy the video. I think there's uh, there's quite a bit going on. Let's uh, let's pull up the chart <laughs> and take a look at the silver chart because there is some interesting price action going on. We're hitting we're hitting some levels on the chart. So if we were to take a look at, at silver here and just look at this daily chart, obviously we've had this huge run up. It's got everybody's attention uh, based on the short term price action. It is pretty much hit its its measured move for the time being and. Generally, when something has, has kind of had its move, everybody's interested in it, like always like right near the end of a, of a short-term move. Now, this is just a short-term pause. So I like to use Fibonacci extension and we can just take the, the price action here from a closing price or an open or close bar to this one to here. If we carry this forward down to these lows, we're pretty much at this 100% measured move, Andy. And that is a, an important level where the market's usually gonna run out of steam. So. Uh, just at least for a short term pause. And that's what we're already seeing. We're already seeing a pause, a little pullback here, I think will probably be like a launch pad for it to keep going higher. Because when we look at the overall cycle of the market, we're in a sweet spot, I think for a few more months where I think gold, silver, miners, um, and, and other things, uh, other commodities are gonna do very well. And no matter what the stock market does, and they're in kind of a, um, a strong mode that should buck the trend of even if the stock market goes down, these are going to be seen as defensive plays. So just based on this price action, we've had a really nice run up. We had a controlled pullback. We've now gone up and pretty much hit this 100% measured move. And all that's doing is saying based on this pattern, expect a pause or pullback. And that's what we're seeing across the board with, with silver. If we if we look at the silver miners, they're doing the same thing like the silver miner juniors. Uh, they're having a pullback. I like silver. I think everything's got some really good potential. If we look at the monthly chart and we can get a look at the big picture view, we are still seeing silver come right up into these highs uh, back that we saw back in 2011, 2012. So it is poking up into a level of serious resistance. 
I do think there's potentially a, another push higher in silver. If we were to look at the overall maximum kind of upside potential for silver, uh, based on Fibonacci extension on this longer term pattern, it is showing us that we should see uh, silver potentially run to about 36. Uh, so there's still another leg higher. This little pause that I think we're about to see, I think will bring it somewhere to this 35, 36 range, which are these two highs here. I generally, generally, if there's two major highs or a major high below 100% measured move, I'll stick with these, these lows. That's where there's going to be these higher lows. Uh, as the target. So 35 is going to be probably the next upside push uh, after we have a little bit of a, a pause or a breather here. This will be the sweet spot around the $30 mark before it starts another big leg up. Now, with that said, if this is a high momentum move, which it kind of feels like it is, typically what price will do in a high momentum move is it'll run up this thin blue line. This is the, just the five day moving average. So it might only pause for a couple days and then just keep pushing higher and higher. So if this High momentum carries through, and this is just a little hiccup along the way. It could really, you know, take off here from the five-day moving average, which is about 31.29, somewhere in that area, and uh, and then have another another significant push higher. I do feel like it's going a little parabolic. Um, and yeah. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody seems to be piling in. So that once we hit this kind of parabolic bubble phase, this just it's a small one, but. You don't know if it's going to keep blasting off or it's going to have a huge red bar and wipe it all out. Chris Vermeulen believes that navigating the next five years will require strategic diversification into various assets. He predicts a prolonged bear market for equities reminiscent of the early 2000s, but sees strong potential for precious metals to perform well during this period. JP Morgan has issued a stark warning about the U.S. stock market, predicting a significant drop in the S&P 500 by the end of the year. Vermeulen believes these metals will experience major upward moves after some consolidation and volatility, particularly following a financial reset. He is also excited about the prospects for silver miners, uranium stocks, and gold miners, especially undervalued small cap stocks that could offer substantial opportunities in the future. Let's get back to the interview. It's definitely been a strong move. Um... You know, it, it, it's nice because it has a hiccup, a pullback here along the way, it, kind of at the halfway point, which which is nice. It, when something gets overextended and just keeps ripping to the upside, it, it actually does a lot of damage. It can take a long time to work itself out. But something that runs up has a pullback, a quick speed check, more or less, and then and then continues to go higher. Um, like the weekly chart looks really good. I mean, I think, yeah, it's been a big move percentage wise. I do think silver and gold, they've all put in, I think they're major bottoms. And I, I mean, I think long-term from here, they're all going much higher. I think they're gonna probably do something very similar. Like silver had this first big breakout and then it consolidated for a long time. And now it's got a new breakout and however high it goes, uh, then I th I think it'll, it'll consolidate and build one of these bases and try and shake people out a little bit. And then eventually I think when we have a financial reset and, and things reset, that's when I think we'll see, you know, silver and gold really start that next rocket ship, major, major move up. So I think I think most of the upside uh, for silver, like there's still another 10, maybe 15 percent to the upside. And then I think it's going to be volatile for a little while. Uh, the next major move after that is probably six, 12, 18 months from now, uh, just to guess. But uh, and then I think it'll be off to the races. And that's the point I'm going to be really excited is that's when we're going to, I'm going to want to get back into like some really small mining stocks, you know, underpriced things that just got beat up during the bear market and a recession phase. That's when I think the precious metal space is going to be really, really exciting again. And silver miners, um, uranium stocks, I think are going to be incredible. Gold miners, um, those are kind of the ones I'm most excited for to catch the next kind of life-changing move. I would say the stock market starts to, starts to weaken out this summer, starts to correct. I don't know how long a bear market phase will go in the stock market, and the economy. I kind of actually feel like it's going to drag out very similar to 2001. It could be a multi-year weakness in equities, mm -hmm. um, which is not bad because uh, precious metals can do very, very well um, and rally well before the stock market does. So um, it's not a bad, it's not a bad scenario, but a lot of people think there's going to be some quick bear market and then we take back off to new highs. I think it's going to be uh, very difficult next five years or so for equities. And it's going to be important to be involved uh, in different assets that are moving. 
In the coming years, a financial reset is expected to trigger a significant rise in precious metals like silver and gold. Silver's chart structure indicates a clear target, and it's only a matter of time before it reaches $50. On May 17, 2024, silver experienced a secular breakout, driven by an ultra-bullish chart pattern. Silver is poised to hit $50. How do you plan to diversify your investments considering these predictions for the precious metals market and the potential prolonged bear market in equities? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. If you find this video informative, please support our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest videos. See you in the next video.